why should we bother with morality? Even if there are moral rules and real moral values, why should we take that seriously? Now, that's not as cynical as it sounds. There are many good things, things that any rational person would desire and value beyond moral values and moral rules. Fun, food, love, laughter, health, safety, romance, career. These are all good things. So why shouldn't I put those things first, at least some of the time? Why should I treat everyone as having equal worth? Can't I put my family ahead of the moral rules sometimes? Or my country? Other people might get hurt, but life's tough, isn't it? In any case, the bad guys seem to get away with things all the time. That seems to be a lesson of history. Papa Doc Valier and Heidi, Joseph Stalin in Russia. They never paid for their crimes. The people who stood up to them, they tended to end up dead. Psychopaths and sociopaths, people who don't feel sympathy for others, tend to do very well in business. So why think following the moral rules makes any difference? Maybe all the good you try to do just gets swamped by the sheer amount of evil and cruelty in the world. And if the nice guy is always finished last, is it a good idea to be a nice guy? Shouldn't we be encouraging each other to be a bit more ruthless, be a bit more competitive? And let's face it, in the long run, we're all dead. Not only will we all die, but the stars will run out of fuel eventually. There'll be no light, no heat, no life. So what's the point in being good? There's no guarantee it'll work. It might even make you miserable. And in the long run, we're all dead. But morality still seems important. It seems so important that we should put our duty to be kind and loving above all those other goods we talked about. So how can morality make sense? God makes a huge difference to the picture. First, we should value God and what God values because God is the most valuable thing there is. He keeps everything in existence and God is that which we can conceive no greater than. He's as good as it gets. So if you're rational, you'll value God and value what God values. Secondly, God values you. He loves you. He's eternal. He has a plan for you. He knows everything you do. So if God is real, what you do matters eternally. Third, God can ensure that there will be a just world in the long run. That the wicked and the righteous will get their desserts. But better yet, God guarantees forgiveness. The possibility of forgiveness. There's a gap between the good we know we should do and what we actually manage to achieve. We continually fail to live up even to our own standards, never mind God's. But God offers us forgiveness so we don't give up and despair of being good. In Christianity, God offers his own son to pay the penalty for our failures. That's how far God goes in offering forgiveness. Finally, God has a plan for his creation. The fate of the universe and every individual has been determined by a creator who values morality and the moral rules. Morality isn't something extra we invented and added to the universe. Moral values and the moral rules were part of the plan for this universe before it even existed. So, it makes sense to be moral if there's a God, but if there isn't, well, morality doesn't seem to make so much sense, does it? So if you believe we should be moral, you should believe there is a God. <laughs>